the most prestigious title in all of sports for over a century. This will be for the undisputed heavyweight championship of the world. So ladies and gentlemen, behind me are the managers, promoters, and trainers, but let's meet the stars of the show at this time and bring them up for this press conference. Coming out first, a perfect professional record consisting of 24 fights, pardon me, 21 fights, 21 victories, 14 wins by knockout. He comes to us from Ukraine. He's a former Olympic gold medal champion and the former undisputed, undefeated cruiserweight world champion. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the WBO, WBA, IBF, IBO, Heavyweight Champion of the World, Alexander Ossie! <laughs> Undefeated Champion, Alexander Ossie! And now, ladies and gentlemen, coming up to the stage into his seat for the press conference, he has a professional record of 35 fights, 34 victories, 24 big knockouts, one draw from the United Kingdom. Please welcome the two-time world heavyweight champion, the reigning, defending, lineal, ring, and WBC heavyweight champion of the world, the Gypsy King, Tyson! Gentlemen, the stars are here in attendance and on the stage at this time. So let's keep going with the final press conference and turn it over to a superstar in his own right, our host for the press conference, Mr. Dev Sani. Wow, thank you very much, Michael Buff, a superstar. Good, goodness me. 25 years, ladies and gentlemen, 25 years. The world has been watching, waiting, willing for there to be an undisputed world heavyweight champion, one king on the throne, one head to bear the crown. And now, on one special night, with one special fight, we will decide everything. Saturday night, right here in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia, we will crown the first undisputed world heavyweight champion of the century. Before we speak to the top table, I'd like to once again take a moment to thank those involved who are making these historic events possible as part of Riyadh's season. We would like to express our heartfelt thanks to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz. Assalamu alaikum, ladies and gentlemen. All has been done. All has been accomplished. All has been spoken. One thing that can never be too much is gratitude. And I want to say thanks to the beautiful country, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and its wonderful people for the warm hospitality, even I would say hot hospitality. I want to say thanks to His Royal Excellency, His Royal Highness, Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman and to His Excellency Turki Al Al Sheikh for making fans' dreams come true. Thank you very much. There is only one assignment left. is to pick up this green belt and take it back home to Ukraine, the country it belongs to. Full stop. Full 
And if, if you allow me, if you allow me, please, uh, I've got one short message for Tyson and his team not to take it too close to the heart Saturday night and Sunday morning. I've got a short one from British Classics, if you don't mind, by Henry Longfellow. Be still, said heart, and cease repining. Behind the clouds is the sun still shining. Thy fate is the common fate of all. Into each life some rain must fall, and some days must be dark and dreary. Thank you. Yeah, um, his team are a good bunch of people. We've got a lot of admiration for them, so has Tyson. But come Saturday, that's all gone out the window. We've already butted heads with, uh, with his team, and um, it looks like they're going to butt heads on Saturday night. And let me tell you, he's got a mountain to climb. You have a mountain to climb. Your Everest is your mountain to climb on Saturday. Um, I'd like to thank everybody involved. And um, I would, if I was you, I wouldn't worry about poets and things like that. I'd worry about your man on Saturday night. Because Tyson Fury is coming to take all them belts away from you. All right? He's going to take all them belts away. And our English boys here have come all the way over from England. All the way over from England to see him take those belts. The Fury Army is here. And you will see on Saturday night us walking away with the belts. Thank you. Salam alaikum. Saudi. Secretary of Ukraine. Everyone, hello. This preparation started back in 2018. And it finished just one week ago. На сегодняшний день Александр готов к своему финальному поясу в супер тяжелом весе. And today Alexander Usyk is ready for the final belt in the heavyweight division. Ему не важен размер. Ему важен соперник, который будет стоять в противоположном углу. The size и... does not matter to him. И What does matter is the opponent who will stay in front of him. И наконец-то он бой будет здесь. Я бы хотел еще пожелать терпения Тайсону Фьюри. Потому что это будет, самый, это будет самая тяжелая ночь в его жизни. And I would love uh, to wish patience to Tyson, as it's gonna be the most difficult night of his life. Well, I'm feeling like I'm feeling like um, exactly what you said, but it's a lot more sentimental for me for the reason that um, this is what I was brought up around. I was raised around boxing my whole life and watching many a champions and watching the Crunk legacy and watching, you know, uh, as the later years, Emmanuel being with Lennox Lewis and uh, Vladimir Klitschko in the heavyweight division, that the heavyweight division to me is the division that runs boxing. It's the granddaddy division it's the division that makes everything in boxing what it stands for. The two, the biggest guys in boxing, the biggest men battling each other, and you have Alexander Usyk, who's the number one fighter, and you have Tyson Fury, who's the number one fighter. You couldn't get any better than this. And um, this is just something that, like I said, Emmanuel, if he was alive, this is where he would be at right here, right now. And for me to be here in his place, I'm just so happy and blessed to um, be a part of it and to take what he has taught me over the years of my life, not just in boxing, but as a man and growing up and being able to understand other men and people and to be able to treat them with respect as I would want to be treated with respect. And 
And this is just one of those times in my life where I just appreciate the things that I've been through in life. Um, I think it's going to be a great fight. Alexander Usyk is one of the best heavyweights, one of the best boxers in boxing. He's been that for quite some time, and so has Tyson Fury. This is just the ultimate fight, two of the best ultimate fighters. Saturday night, May the 18th, I'm always going with my fighter, Tyson Fury, 100% for the knockout. It can be challenging, it can be confusing, it can be patient, but it's still going to be a knockout. That's what I believe, 100%. Assalamu alaikum. Hi, everybody, people. I'm happy to be here. I'm excited. I'm grateful for His Excellency, Mr. Turki, and who this fight happened. Let's make history. Enough. Thank you so much. Well, Alexandra, I'm hoping you'll take a few more questions. Um, what, what was it that you drew? I saw you drawing something while everyone up here was talking. You had your pen, you had your paper, you drew something and put it in your pocket. What was it? Uh, it's my uh, homework. I understand, yeah? <laughs> your homework. A yeah. any, any more detail? Uh, it's my uh, remember and... Uh, it's poem. Could you show it to us? Oh, no, now no. Later. I'm going to make this short and simple. I want to thank God for the victory that I've received already. And I want to thank everybody involved in putting this massive event on. I want to thank Usek for turning up and challenging me. Um, and that's about it. Thank you to all the fans who travelled over to support me because I know it's tough times at the moment and money's hard, so I aim to put on a show. Thank you very much. God bless. Tyson, I'm hoping you'll take a, a couple more questions from us. I mean, uh, what, what, what would it mean to, to beat this man? You've described him as the toughest fight of your career. It would be, the, I guess, the best win of your career. I'm ready. I've got nothing to say apart from I'm ready for a good fight. And if it's tough or easy, either way, I'll be ready. Okay, all right. Thank you very much, Tyson Fury. Uh, just one more from you, Tyson. Just a, a message to Alexander Rusik. Anything you want to say to him before Saturday? God bless him. And I'll say a prayer for him before we walk out and we both get out of the ring in one piece and go home to our families, because that's what it's about. Alexander, do you have a message for Tyson? Let your hand dog in the ring. He is on his toes. Movement's going to be absolutely crucial for him. Very, but you know, he's a good mover. Out and out counter puncher on his front foot makes you miss and then makes you pay. And Tyson Fury, he really has the tools to beat anyone in the world because of the height and reach. He has the physical advantages. When he doesn't, when he doesn't want to get hit, Tyson Fury is very, very good at staying away from an opponent, making them come over the front foot, and then he catches them as they come. He's not only good on his back foot, he'll go forward, he can rough him up on the inside. He's probably got a few more answers than what Usyk has, actually, so it's going to be a cracking fight. Mind games here, Carl. Yeah, Tyson doesn't want to look at him. I think it, look, it, it looks maybe he's going to turn and look, maybe not. No, I don't think so. This is interesting, isn't it? We'll get a proper head-to-head, -head, I think, after the weigh-in. I'm, yeah. I'm almost intrigued as to what the message Tyson Fury is trying to send to Alexander Usyk by doing something like this. You've been in a fight issues, both of you have achieved in terms of the highest level. What message is he trying to send by not even giving them the respect of acknowledging him then? I think with Tyson, with Tyson Fury, they're both very experienced. They've seen it all before. And so, if anything, it can, you can burn up nervous energy when you, you, when you go with, with a face off to your opponent a couple of days beforehand. You know, look at Usyk there, his eyes are, are, are transfixed on, on Tyson Fury, but Tyson's not having any of it. He's seen it all before. It's, he's just yeah. waiting for the bell to go now, Tyson. Is. Just looking at them, eyes are burning right through the side of Tyson Fury's head. Like, it's, uh, it's really, really interesting. Oh, he's still looking. <laughs> he's trying to get a reaction, but nothing from big Tyson. But this is Tyson's personality. This right here epitomizes Tyson Fury and why the world loves him. Because yeah. he can, in the biggest moments, seem so relaxed. It seems well, like he's enjoying it. Well, this. he does seem relaxed. And if anything, Alexander Usyk there is trying to look into the eyes of Tyson Fury, trying to get anything out of him at all. But of course, he didn't look at him. So he can't get nothing from him, can he? Because the eyes tell you everything. And unfortunately, Tyson wouldn't give anything away there. 
I have to give Yusuf the credit because we won't see him again probably till